Each of those two episodes is huge. And left alone and run indep independently, that'd be some of our greatest episodes. But to lock them both into a two-hour finale, it's, uh, I can't imagine just how powerful it's going to be. And, it, it, and the, f the first half of it is quite different from the second half. So you'll see different characters having these incredible lives within, within the two-hour finale. And what, uh, what the writers have done, and, uh, and I, I'm so impressed with this. I think that, for example, the finale which we're shooting at present, I think is the best television script I've ever read. I think that Joel Wyman has created a ma done a masterly job. I'm so impressed with that, which is a great feeling to go out with, to be shooting this thing that you think is so marvellous, which is our hundredth and also our, uh, our finale. The um, penultimate script, which is the first half of it, was a very interesting departure almost for us, back into one of the uh, the highlight periods, uh, particularly for our Olivia, you know, for Anna. And it was wonderful to see her get the chance to do some of the things that uh, she does and has done in previous seasons. So that was brilliant. I was really pleased for that because I know how much she enjoyed doing that. The second half brings the whole team together. But also what the second half does is it says, over the years we've created a whole series of loose ends and Joel Wyman's just magically brought them together and, and managed to tie off so many loose ends, answer so many questions. And also he brings in elements that were created in the first four seasons. I mean, some of the gags we used and some of the effects we've used all come back to visit with us. So it's like a reunion of all, the, all of the, the monstrous ways that people have died in, in the past in Fringe have all sort of been resurrected in different ways. So for, for fans, they say, oh my goodness, that was from episode 117 or, oh, that was 26 or something like that. And it's also interesting for me to see, to see all those things coming back again. I've forgotten. And then you see them and say, oh, I remember that episode. That was good. It needs to give a sense of completion for the character. The, the Fringe is, is, has lived and breathed really on the, on the strength of the relationships between the characters. I mean, it's also been very clever in terms of its science and so forth. But it's the relationships between the characters that have made it so special, I think, to, to fans. So we, we have to we have to satisfy fans that these characters have all been honoured with a completion. And if we don't, there'll be people will be saying, well, that's, oh, I wanted more for Peter or for Jessica or for Lance or somebody, you know, there'll be, but I, I think that won't happen. I think there is, a, the two-hour finale will give us completion of that. It'll also, it, we owe, we, we've created a story over five years or five seasons we owe a completion that's that's consistent with the science we've talked about and the and the uh, the philosophies we've talked about, and and we've completed a grand story arc that started right back at the beginning. That's kind of unusual to be able to do that. It's like writing the final chapter of a, of, of an epic novel. So I, uh, that's that's what happens. That's what we do in this.